Alrighty, traders, so the danger of these markets, uh, what's happening right now in the stock market, but there is a really amazing pattern that's happening with gold right now as well too, that I was just sharing my private clients and I wanna share that with you. Plus also, I wanna give you like a bit of a blueprint, a bit of a plan of, even if you're starting with a small trading account, of how you can turn that into 50,000, even a potentially a six figure year income by taking, you know, only a, only a, you know, a couple of dozen trades per year. And I want to share that with you. I'll give you a bit of a blueprint. My whole job around this here is to try to give you, try to see, try to get you guys who are trading the markets, try to see the forest from the trees of what it's going to really take and who really help you to really maximize your opportunities in these markets from here. So let's get straight into it, guys. Don't place a trade based on what you're seeing in this video because there is no guarantees of making a profit in the market. It takes you a long time to become a good trader. So this video here is just to educate you to become a much better trader. Alrighty, traders. So let's get straight into it. Uh, traders, if you haven't done so, make sure you grab access to that free trading course. It's the second link in the description. If you need some help, guys, from the mistakes you're making to chart reading strategies to trading systems, it's all in there. Second link in the description there, guys. So let's go look at the, uh, we'll, we'll start to look at the look, look at the stock market. And this is a really big thing, traders, that I think a lot of people are doing right now. And it's, I was actually talking to my private clients because I'm, I'm with my private clients every day. Uh, they see what I'm doing in the markets, but then, uh, but then I'm there coaching them every single day because that's what my coaching program is all about. It's not just to give you strategies, but I'm literally with you. If you ever become a coaching client with me in the future, I'm all about total immersion, right? So I'm all about, you know, you actually seeing what I'm doing in the markets, me personally, but then also I'm there to coach you and help you every single day in the markets. This, and so that's, I'm, I'm very, 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 that's what my coaching program is all about because I want to see, I want to see you guys really get good results and get a good understanding of these markets. That's why I'm, showing you what I'm doing in the markets, but also coach you and personally helping you every day. Anyway, so I was talking with them today and I'm saying that the hardest thing about where we are right now is there's gonna start, there's gonna start to become a lot of FOMO in the markets. And the FOMO in the market is going to start to create a situation where, um, where I truly believe that looking at the markets right now, the indices right now, is that we're starting to get a bit of a move, okay? So the indices are starting to look really strong again. We're starting to get a bit of a breakout and we're gonna start to see this thing start to have a really big move. The hardest thing about where we are right now is people are gonna start to really wanna to start to jump in because we think we're gonna make a very extraordinary quality move. And I was saying with my private clients, the hardest thing about where we are right now in the indices, especially like with the NASDAQ, the NASDAQ is actually not too bad, right? The NASDAQ's been a very strong move up, had a bit of a pullback. If we go have a look at say the four hour chart, this is one thing I was watching for on the four hour chart. We can see we've got a very, very nice push to the upside through here. So with the NASDAQ, the NASDAQ actually had a nice move up through here. And then we had like this little, just little drop, little dip down and then another push to the upside. We really haven't had a lot of time to refuel yet. And the the one thing I'll say with my private clients is that unfortunately what happens here is that people start to become FOMO. There's a lot of fear that starts to come, a fear of missing out, right? So we're thinking, oh, the market's gonna go to 6,000 or whatever on the S&P right now. And so what we do is we start to jump into these markets and we start to become really, really, really fearful of missing out. Now, what can ultimately happen with the NASDAQ is the NASDAQ next resistance that was up, up around that 16,000. We can actually push to the upside. And so we can actually do that through there. The one thing you wanna be really watching for is like, what is the probability of this actually doing that? For me personally, guys, uh, when it comes to the indices itself, there is no way I'll be getting involved with the indices right now. Like the S&P 500, the, the Dow, the, the NASDAQ and so on and so forth, there's no way I'll be getting involved with that because the probability is low, right? There is an 80% chance that after this next, after this breakout here, uh, and it may continue on for another another few more days into next week, there is an 80% probability, probably, probably even more, of this being a end of a move before it actually rolls over and starts to create the false breakout move and starts to get a nice pullback. Not a crash, but a nice pullback. So why would I wanna be playing those odds? Why would I want to be getting into something that I know that has an 80% probability of, of doing that? The unfortunate thing that you may be going through right now is that if you're along the markets right now and it breaks out and it does have a big move, then you got it right, right? You're the man, you got it right, you made a lot of money. The unfortunate thing is that now if you go do the exact same thing 10 times, the eight times they're gonna be wrong, the eight times you're gonna lose money, 
And guess what's also going to happen? The eight times, you're going to hold those eight times, a good handful of those eight times that are going to lose your money. You're going to hold on and now you've got two, three, four times your loss compared to your profit in the markets. And then it's a like complete downhill from there. So looking at the S&P 500, we can see what's going on here. I've got a few boxes here, so I'll leave that there. But the S&P 500, a big breakout from here. I, again, traders, this is, to me, this is a big, this is a big fake out on, on the markets from here. Real, 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 real big fake out when it comes to the markets. I would not want to be, I would not want to be long the markets right now. Because again, there's probably like even the S&P 500, there's a real big probability that, um, that we had this little sideways movement and then now we're pushing back up again through here. So again, 20% probability, we're going to have another big move up. We're looking at this right now and when we see this level through here, there's a real good, real good chance, guys, that I'm looking at this at level three. There's a real good probability now we're breaking up to all-time new highs that this is going to be some sort of a, fo uh, a false breakout. One of the things I've been saying for market updates for the last few days is that if we do get a one more push to the upside, it's probably going to be that type of uh, that type of a move. So, for me personally, guys, anyway, I don't like to be jumping in something that has a lower probability or something. I want to jump in something that that gives me that yes trade, right? That absolute yes trade. And I'm pretty sure you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, if you trade the markets for a while, um, for me personally, that I always want to be getting into the markets when I get when I have this like, you know, a very 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 high probability of actually doing really well in the markets. And that's where like guys, that that first link in the description there, you can go join my next webinar, and I'll teach you all the details to my trading system, how I trade it, and I and. And I'm going to share with you just a minute as well too, is that why you don't need, even if you're starting with a smaller trading account, why you don't need a hundred trades this year to do really well this year. And I'm going to revert back that back here, all right? And re revert back that back, revert that back to uh, to something I'm going to share with you in just a moment as well too. When it comes to that, this is again, this is just to help you out. And what I'm doing here, traders, I'm just trying to share with you some of the foundations that's going to help you as a trader as well too. Sometimes we can see what's happening here and we've seen this very big move up and now it's gone sideways and now it's breaking out again. And then we we just want to jump on, right? Because now we're fearful of I'm fearful of missing out on the on the on the next big boom the next bull move. And it's really, really, really interesting, isn't it, traders, that we've that just over just twelve months ago we were worried about a recession and now we're missing now we're worried about missing out on the next bull move. Isn't that just interesting how things have changed from from that point of view? So for me personally, guys. This is probably going to be a false breakout, suck and rally before it actually has a bit of a reversal to the downside and then starts to see that through there, especially on the Dow Jones itself. Like look look at this from the Dow Jones perspective. This is just this is just enormous, right? Enormous to the upside. Look at this here from there to there, right? And then we've had this move through the here. So especially on the Dow Jones, it's not ready yet. We are not ready yet to make a nice move to the upside. Right, so for me personally, looking at this, look at this moving through here, guys. Um, not not for me, not for me, especially the Dow Jones. Now, I want to put a blatant statement. Across, I want to put a bit of a statement across about what I just said there. A minute, what I just said there, okay? Just because I said this about the Dow Jones, or the S and P five hundred, or the Nasdaq, it does not mean that I don't have bullish setups because I do actually. There's, I I I have in my watch list, and you can actually see all the different see see all these different all these different blue flags over here. These blue flags are part of a watch list of stocks that I'm watching right now that I'm not in them, but I'm waiting for really good opportunities to potentially confirm a trade on these ones here. And there's actually, that's actually just probably, probably maybe, maybe not even half of the actual ones that I, that I look for, right? Because you can see here, in fact, if I just blow this up, let me see if I can blow it. Can I blow this up? Yeah, so you can see all these different stocks are on my watch list right now. Um, when it comes to see what the blue flags that I've got here, these are different stocks that are on my watches and I'm waiting for my, my, my system to set up properly with the confirmation candle and so on and so forth. And these things, these things swap and change all the time. So next week I may remove some of these and I may, and then I'm always adding and removing and so on and so forth. And the purpose of me saying that guys is that we just want to, we, we just, we, uh, I'm, I'm through here. There's a mixture of bearish setups right now. That are with the S and that are with the you know the uh, the 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 Russell 1000. If I go to the S and P 500, you can see here that this one here there's actually there's 17 stocks right now that I've got as a watch list for the S and P 500. 
why uh, purpose of me bringing this up here is because the s p 500 i actually see the s p 500 itself probably having a bit of a pullback again this has been a false breakout move so on and so forth but there's going to be a handful of these trades a handful of stocks through here that i'm trading that are bullish setups and so therefore i don't want you to be getting mixed up with s p 500 and an individual stock because the S&P 500 can go down 10% and then we have a screaming 20% move on an individual stock. I hope you can see that. And then if we, and the reason why I'm bringing this up is because sometimes we can have this bias like S&P 500 down, so I'm only looking for bearish setups. And then we can be screwed because we don't know the S&P 500 is going to go down, right? It may not go down. It may just go down a little bit and then go sideways, right? So, I, and then so therefore I'm, I'm never having a biased view on individual stocks. I'm just looking for... And there's actually there's there's just one of them here anyway. So that's what I'm talking about then when it comes to the good old stock market through there, traders. Let's go look at the actual silver and gold market as well too. The silver market itself has indeed definitely been in a squeezing up triangle pattern through here. Squeezing up triangle pattern, and we can see here that it really hasn't been doing anything. The really exciting thing, and this is something I was talking about with my private clients, is that for those who are not rushing around like a headless chook, trying to jump in every single thing that moves because they're trying to make some money really, really quickly. If you sit back and you're patient and you're watching and you're studying and you're analyzing, I call it the Warren Buffett style of trading, all right? The Warren Buffett style of trading. What is the Warren Buffett style of trading? The Warren Buffett style of trading is essentially where, you know, what does Warren Buffett do? He sits back, he watches, he looks, he's, he's, he's waiting for good opportunities to get involved with it. He's not just gonna jump in anything. He wants a, he wants almost a certainty that this is going to be a good, this is like, this is a good opportunity and so on and so forth, right? So we go through the trading and we start to actually see, we start to actually, uh, we, uh, for me personally, there's opportunities like this potentially on silver, where if silver starts to break out, after all this time being patient, once silver does break out, we could be getting ready for a really nice move to the upside. This is also same for the gold market as well too. Right, so with the gold market, the gold market's the same thing, right? For me personally, from an investment opportunity, I'm very, very, very bullish from an investment opportunity. Uh, and I say investment opportunity because I believe over the next five to 10 years, we could see an extraordinary quality move from where we are right now in the gold price. Um, and <laughs> whenever I say, I believe we're gonna be started, we're gonna be in the thick of it of around 26, 27, I see some people say in my comment section below, they say things like, John, get real, are you serious? What? We're gonna have to wait to 26, 27 to, to, be, be, before this thing starts? It's like, no, big moves take time, right? If we're gonna see a $10,000 gold, that's not gonna happen in six days, six months, right? That's only gonna happen over a good couple of, couple of year period, right? So if we are going to see a $10,000 gold, I believe we're going to see a lot higher because I personally believe we're going to see the gold coming back into adding some value to the way that we exchange our money, right? So, but looking at this from that's a, that's an investment point of view. Then, looking at it from a trading point of view, is that there's a there's a lot of things setting up right now with this market still pressing higher, and there could be an amazing opportunity that could potentially generate you know 250 percent, 500 percent, maybe even a thousand percent, maybe more of a return on your trade and you and, and it, it could be one of those trades now we, we never know right but op preparation meets opportunity right just being prepared and this is a, this is what i do with my private clients like i was talking this is exactly what i was talking with my private clients today and i'm showing them the exact pattern i'm looking for of what i'm looking for to potentially get ready for an opportunity that could potentially generate a thousand percent return it's like oh john that's it's like, no, there are opportunities out there that do this, right? And the purpose of me bringing this back, I'm gonna bring this back again now, is like, why would you wanna chase something like the stock market when it has a very, very low probability of making your next move, maybe 20% chance working out? Why would you wanna start, start to chase something like that when you can pull back, be patient, and maybe wait for an opportunity that may, may it may take another month to eventually form to confirm that trade, but that trade could then go on to run on Especially when you start to look at things like, you know, leverage or options and stuff like that, you can really start to generate some really nice returns through there. And the purpose of me bringing this up, traders, is I'm trying to share with you that there's, that you don't need a lot of good trades, right? Like if I just, if I just share with you, this, here's a PowerPoint here. 
okay? And there are opportunities out there that work really, really, really well in the marketplace that if we just wait for them, always, that's always the hardest part as a trader. It's like, because that, that waiting, patience, right? We all know that, like, yes, I've got to have patience. But what do you do? You go to the markets and anything that looks good and then the FOMO kicks in and the fear of fear of missing out kicks in, you know, and, you know, greed kicks in and all this sort of stuff starts to kick in, doesn't it, with, with our trading. And now what ends up happening? Now we end up getting to something and we lose money and go backwards, right? But if we start to look for opportunities like this, which is what? A sideways channel followed by a breakout, sideways and a big move. Look at this here, channel, up, and I call it, I call it the upside down. We, this this is the L shape pattern. I like the L shape pattern. I call it the the L shape pattern, or the upside down L shape pattern. Right? Look at this here, upside down L shape pattern from there to there. Upside down L shape pattern from there to there. Look at this here, channel. Upside down L shape pattern, channel. Upside down L shape pattern, and then look at the move happen afterwards. After we got the L shape pattern, very big move up, very big move up very big move up, extraordinary quality move to the upside. Do you see what I'm saying here, right? But these trades don't come around that often. And guess what? See all this? This all here is what? Us just waiting and watching and prouding. But what if these opportunities here gave you multiple 100% returns on these trades? How many of these do you need? And so if you're trading the markets really, trading the markets this year, for, again, for me personally, guys, Again, that first link in the description, go join my next webinar. I'll teach you my trading system I look for. But my job is now to be patient, right? My job is that I know what I'm looking for. Now I need to be patient and wait for them. And on the back of what I've said there, a lot of traders, if, they, if, they, if they're if they looking, uh, um, a lot of traders, and you may be in the same position, you may be in the same boat right now, where you're looking at the markets every day. And if you don't take a trade for a week or two, now you start to get antsy because you're like, I'm seeing these things move up and down and I'm not making money and what am I doing? And I'm here to, I'm here to make money and now you actually just try to find anything. And you know what, you know, it's a downward spiral, right? That's that's where trading is, is yes, trading is not so much about the system. I can teach you the system. Here's a, here's a, right here, here's an amazing system. Study the hell out of this and only take these trades. That's the hard part with that last bit, right? Only take these trades. <gasps> but John, I haven't had a trade in a whole month. So what? John, it's been two months and no trades. So what? That's the hard part, right? Because now you're thinking, oh, I need to be trading all the time because I've only got a small trading account. All right, Mythbuster here. So let's actually go down to this point here. Let's just say, right, and these these trades through here, traders, these trades, the 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 uh, upside down or shape pattern, especially coming off the triangle, has a very, very, very high probability of generating, of being a successful trade. And not only being a successful trade, but as you can see, these things here, especially when you start to overlay, overlay some margin or some leverage or options, you can really start to pick up multiple hundreds percent and potentially even 500%, even uh, I've had many trades that do a thousand percent return, right? Over the course, if I'm getting in on the daily charts, over the course of a three, four week period, right? And so if you know that, then look at this here. If you only had if you only had 20 trades, and let's just say you had a trading account of $20,000, right? And then now we're gonna start to do a $5,000 trade with options, right? I'm just using this as a bit of a plan here, $5,000 trade with options. And let's just say, for example, we've got a 90% success rate. We didn't get a lot of these trades, right? We didn't get a lot of trades. So it's for all of this year, you didn't get a lot of trades. You only had 20 trades, only 20 trades for the entire year. And you and you put $5,000 on, on the trade every single time. Now it's important to, if you're looking at that, say from an option perspective, it's important to know what option to buy, how long to buy it for. And so you can not only do really well, but also protect yourself as well too, right? That gets a 90% success rate, all right? And you can do that. But the hard part is, again, they don't come around that often, right? So let's just say 18 profits at 100% per trade. So if you if you made 100% profit, now these examples here that I just showed you here, if you did get into these things, guys, using options, they're multiple 100% in profits, multiple 100% in profits, not just 100%, right? But I'm using 100% on a number through there. And this is where like really jumping on some of these trades is that if you jump on one trade, out, out of these 20 trades, if just one of them starts to really run on for three or four or five weeks, 
and ends up making a thousand percent return just one of these trades ends up making you fifty thousand dollars so i hope you can see that these are actually pretty low numbers here i'm using here right um and so 18, 18 profits at 100 percent per trade so 18 trades at five thousand investment equals ninety thousand dollars two losses in there at 50 percent per trade and again that's actually pretty high right 50 percent loss there if you use the right option you can generally get out around about a 30 percent maybe a 40 percent loss um, so 50%, I'm using I'm using a, um, a much bigger number here as well too. Especially if you use if you buy the right amount of time, if you buy the right if you buy the right type of option there. I'm using options here as an example, right? So five thousand five thousand dollar investment at fifty percent is two and a half thousand times two trades, right? So you had two losses in there, which is five thousand dollars. So eighty five thousand dollars, and you could just do this all in trading one hour per day, looking at the stock market, right? This all these here could be daily charts, and and that's it, right? But as I said before, traders, is that you could even cut this down to potentially 10 trades, 10 trades for the entire year, but what if 10 out of, out of 10 trades, what if two of those trades end up being massive home runs? Now you're talking multiple, now you're talking like a, a six-figure to a multiple six-figure profit just only from 10 trades. So as you can see, traders, it's not about uh, your. My goal here is to try to share with you a bit of bit of a bit of a ten thousand foot view to actual what trading is really like and how at the end of every year we can actually do really well from trading from the perspective of what do I need to be doing every single day, right? So this is the ten thousand foot view here I'm talking about. But then let's go bring it back to today. Today is I'm going to show up when I'm showing up. I'm looking for this trading pattern then I know that works most of the time. And if there is no trading today, then I'm not going to trade today. I'm gonna to come back tomorrow. And if there's no trades tomorrow, I'm not gonna trade then, I'm not gonna to trade tomorrow. I'm gonna to come back the next day. And if and if there's no trades, I'm not gonna trade. And I'm gonna come back the next week. And if there's no next week, and I'm gonna do that for, I'm gonna do this every single week. And it could be three weeks, it could be four weeks, it could be six weeks with no trades. But what happens on week? What happens if week seven there's an amazing high quality setup, <clears throat> gold, that could be setting up or does set up? It takes you a bit of time, but then you get into it with a five thousand dollar trade, and before you know it, that five thousand dollar trade has made you twenty five thousand, fifty thousand dollars in profits. How many of those do you now need to be to make a hundred thousand dollars a year? I'm talking five thousand dollars here, guys. If you start to, and then after after you start to really build this up, right, then you start to go to $10,000 a trade, $20,000 a trade, $50,000 a trade, you start to see the numbers, right, of where you can start to go, you know, um, making six figures a year is you're not that far away. What is the thing that's stopping you from doing this? Two things. One, the education part of it, right? Like, what exactly does a good setup look like that has the potential of doing that? Potential, right? Because we never know exactly what's going to happen, but has the potential of that. That's the first thing, is like your education. What exactly does that look like? And again, traders, that first thing in the description there, on that webinar, I teach I teach you my trading pattern that I'm looking for. And I teach you a lot more about the what's the, the L-shape pattern there, right? Um, so that's the first thing. And then the second thing, which is the, always the hardest thing, right, is that patience, is understanding that one thing I said to you is that, you may not have a trade for if you, especially if you're looking at the daily charts like I do. I look at the daily charts for half an hour every day, looking at the stock market. And if there's no trades, there's no trades, right? But there could be just that one trade that runs on, and it may not be right. That it may not be a thousand percent return. It may not. It may only be fifty percent return, right? Again, you never know. But just it's actually stuck the odds on our side. If we took ten bullseye trades of like that, what if two of them started to run on for multiple hundred percent returns? You see what I'm saying there, right? Like we we start to stack the odds on our side of doing really well, but the hardest thing is as that is that patience, because we have our thing in our mind that I'm a day trader, and if you start to say I'm a day trader, that means I go to the markets to look for trading opportunities and trade every single day, and I have never met anyone out there that makes really really significant amount of money. We're talking seven figures and multiple seven figures that is very, very, very active and try to jump in every single little thing that, that they think is going to be a good idea, right? That there's a thinking there, right? Well, I think this is. For me personally, guys, and this is something I talk with my private clients, for me personally, I'm always just going to the markets to look for what? Just I'm just looking for these patterns. That's all I'm looking for. 
I'm not going to the market to say, okay, let's actually see what the market's going to give me today and let's actually see if I can find something that looks good. You see what I did there, right? I just, I pulled that aside. I'm like, now I'm, now I'm, now I'm on the back of my emotions and thinking and so on and so forth. And I've just found over the last 20 years is that it's never, it's never a good idea to actually doing that. It's, it's always led me down the wrong path. You may be in the same boat. So for me, trading is not about being lucky. Trading is also understanding like, yes, I'm a day trader, meaning I look at the market every day, but I'm not active in the market every day. Why? Because I'm, I'm, because every day the market's not going to present opportunities. So I'm just looking for my pattern to trade. And once I do that, if I can do this over 12 months, yes, I may not have a hundred trades. I might not have 50 trades. I may only have 20 to 30 trades for the entire year. But if I do that, even starting with a $5,000 position per trade, there's a very good chance at the end of every year, I could have a six or even a multiple six figure income from just trying to slow down. Step number one, what exactly am I looking for that I'm confident in, in the setup? And step number two, understanding the process that there's not gonna be trades every day, every week, some months there's gonna be really, really, really quiet. But I promise you, if we can hold that down there, of getting good at understanding what a good setup looks like and holding that down, of trying to be really patient around these amazing setups. One, you have less stress. Two, you actually start to become a really good trader. And eventually, this is how you start to get into the top 1% of all income owners of when it comes to traders around the world.